I'm Rob from Hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time I'll be looking at a, uh, another beer from um, Stone Brewing Company in San, Die San Diego, California. And it's a bottle of Stone IPA. This was uh, in the Golden Pint Awards that a number of UK bloggers do. I voted this my fa my favourite uh, overseas beer, or it might be an overseas bottled beer. I think it's a really good IPA. So yeah, it's 6.9% 6, 6 ABV. I've had this a number of times. It's always a treat. But I had, and had one from this most recent uh, batch. And also, um, because we're so far away from California over here in Yorkshire, um, we tend to get bottles of stone which are a little bit older than we'd um, preferably prefer. But this lot has come in quite um, just a little bit within that really really short um, drink by day that Stone put on their beers. Anyway, let's yap in. Let's get this in the glass. Got a nice bit of smoke pouring out then. Alright then, so we've got a slightly hazy um, kind of Kind of gold, graduating up to a, like a sandy colour, uh, a really nice head of really fluffy white head, looks lovely. Fantastic looking beer, yeah, maybe a little bit of hop haze in that. Stone really love to chuck those, um, those pellet hops in this beer. So let's give it a sniff. Spot on, just as I hoped. Excuse me if you can hear a siren in the background. I think somebody's burglar alarm's going off. It's a combination of orange, uh, fresh pine needles. Yeah, t um, mandarins. There's also a slight kind of um, hop must in there. I've had this quite a few times, often comes from, uh, I don't know what hops are in this actually, but often comes from something with Simcoe in, or maybe uh, it's a combination of usually Centennial and Simcoe I'm picking this up in. But yeah, that's um, that's a really interesting beer. It's textbook kind of West Coast IPA, but not quite as, as bitter and grapefruity, a bit more of that um, orange. But it's the flesh of an orange, not orange peel. It's not a bitter smelling beer, which is surprising. Anyway, cheers. Oh. Oh. It just, it unravels. It really does. Initially, I'm getting, like, orange juice. Quite freshly squeezed orange juice. Excuse me. Yeah, freshly squeezed orange juice, and then that becomes more of a bitter lemon, orange peel, and a bit of grapefruit in there. Then just before, before like a spike of um, bitterness, I get a, a bit of a malt quality in there, which is quite a... Um, like a maybe like a weak like a really mild gingerbread. Yeah, then after that, it really becomes all about grapefruit. Combination of grapefruit flesh, a bit of um, orange peel, and definitely. Um, but it's such it's so complex actually. Yeah, that orange flesh, orange peel. A bit of grapefruit becoming quite quite dry and at the end I'm getting right now, right now I'm getting lemon peel and quite a um, quite a floral grapefruit along with uh, a really nice fresh piney hot resinous quality in it but that tastes lovely it really does it's a really top draw IPA Yeah, orange, bitter, rave root, really kind of uh, quite tart actually just there. 
and then bitter lemon. Yeah, definitely bitter lemon as it lingers. It's a corker. It's an absolute amazing beer. For me, uh, I, pref I do prefer this to Stone Ruination. I think it's a bit more palatable. It's not as aggressive, but it's got a load of flavour in there. Yeah, and at the end, once again, uh, there's something I'm, I'm spotting more and more, and it's this kind of mustiness. And I, 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 I kind of get this quality when I go and get some, some of my hops, which have already been opened, which are, are in my freezer. When I open up that sealed um, Ziploc bag, I get this kind of mustiness. And, and it doesn't say it doesn't mean it's old. It's just a, it's just a certain quality to a really high alpha acid uh, hop, which I think is definitely in there. Uh, and then, and I think uh, one. Th a brewer once talked to me about uh, the use of pellet hops, and pellet hops impart a real specific quality, and it's got a slight burn edge to it as well. As I talk, I'm getting this kind of burn marmalade kind of uh, maybe uh, if you really if you burn toast, it's got a little bit of that, uh, a little bit of that in there. Anyway, so that's been Stone IPA from Stone Brewing Co in uh, San Diego, California. One of the front runners, one of the forefathers of this kind of um, exciting kind of edgy craft beer movement in America, still very relevant. I mean, they're expanding as, as the days go. It's, uh, it's pretty exciting time. I'm sure it's an exciting place to live at the moment is, is San Diego. I know Ryan from uh, Stumpy, Stump, Stumpy Joe Jr. on um, YouTube He's always down at Stone. I'm very, very uh, envious of you, Ryan. <laughs> you seem to get some fantastic stuff. And drinking Stone on a regular occasion on draft must be a real thrill. Anyway, yeah, so Stone IPA, 6.9%. If you see it, buy it. If you, if, if, if you don't, you're really going to miss out. Anyway, I'm Rob from Popzine.com. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.